India's nuclear submarine program essentially consists of three parallel lines of nuclear submarines. Two for ballistic missile submarines of the Arihant class and the S-5 series and the third one which was recently approved for SSNs or nuclear powered attack submarines. The first line of submarines of the Arihant class started construction in 1998. The program is in fact older, it began in 1984. But since 1998, we've commissioned two Arihant class submarines, the Arihant and the Arighath. These two submarines are in naval service. They carry between four and eight nuclear tipped ballistic missiles. Now, this program of the Arihant class ends in the next couple of years when you have two additional submarines of the S-4 and the S-4 star that will be inducted by around 2027, after which all of these boats will be in service and they will be replaced. This construction line that you see here will be replaced with the building of the Project 77 nuclear-powered attack submarines that you see here. The plan is to have six Project 77 SSNs between now and the mid-21st century. The first two units will start construction a few years from now and it will take between 10 to 12 years to build the first unit of this class. So this line of uh, P-77s will be built on the Arihant class line. When these boats are all commissioned, they will be replaced by this P-77 SSN building program. And parallelly, you have the third submarine building project, which is for the S-5 class of SSBNs. Now, the S-5 is a bigger successor to the Arihant class. The Arihant class SSBNs displace around 6,000 tons. The S-5 boats, which are, again, ballistic missile submarines, displace over 13,000 tons. They are bigger. They have bigger, more endurance. They can carry more missiles, something like 12 submarine-launched ballistic missiles with multiple warheads. So the S-5 has, is currently in the design phase right now. It, you could see possibly the first unit of this class joining uh, naval service a decade from now. It could take between 10 to 12 years to build this platform. It's one of the most complex and the most complicated defense platforms that India has uh, ever attempted. In fact, all of these platforms are extremely complicated uh, technologically, which tells you why just five or six countries in the world have mastered this technology. That's going to be a big, big leap of technology for India. We can master both of these uh, parallel programs to build a new generation SSBN and nuclear-powered attack submarines. Now, the S-5 and the P-75 SSNs are going to be built almost parallelly uh, in different production lines, of course, in Vishakapatnam. Now, the one common thing that both of these programs have is the nuclear reactor. It's going to be powered by what we believe is a 190 megawatt nuclear reactor. And this is a very high output reactor. Uh, it's going to be made indigenously, of course. And to give you an idea of how important this reactor is, the Arihant class is powered by an 83 megawatt reactor. It's a smaller, lighter reactor. Uh, the output is lower. Uh, the uranium that it uses is much less than the requirements that this new reactor of the 190 megawatts is going to need. And the requirements for this reactor are precisely because the S-5 boat is bigger. It's 13,000 tons or more. It's more than double the size of the Arihant class. This comes into service in the 2030s. And this same reactor is going to power the indigenous SSN of the P-77 class. Now, the requirements for the SSN is that it is a very, very high-speed submarine. It does speeds of over 30 knots, which is the top speed of a warship like a destroyer or a frigate. It is armed with a number of missiles, heavyweight torpedoes, land attack cruise missiles. It's called a hunter killer precisely because it moves so swiftly underwater. It's able to operate in contested waters, in enemy waters and attack a variety of targets on the surface 
underwater and on land. That is the importance of this SSN. But the most important thing for both of these programs is that they both rely on that 190 megawatt reactor which is going to be designed indigenously by Indian scientists and the proof of the pudding is going to be in the eating and certainly it is going to be the reactor that is going to be very critical to deciding whether India gets these two very important strategic platforms in its arsenal decades from now.